Okay, so what we're doing now is trying to get the speech bubble. So we're going to come up with a long prompt for ChatGPT to get it all done in one. Because right now, I've used multiple prompts, and the code they gave me from those prompts aren't really working together. I think that's the main issue. So what we're going to do... Um, Game Maker Studio to code for a speech bubble pop-up object. When player enters a proximity to uh, what's it called? O teenager. Yep. Proximity to O teenager of each bubble. Up, up, object right above the O T nature object. Okay, so that handles the creation of it. Um, when player leaves the proximity field of when let's say O player, which is when O player, so it puts all our object names correctly in the code. I'll have to rearrange it later. We use the proximity field of, I think I did 300. Maybe we should do 250. Let's do 250. Two, oh, teenager. Make the pop up uh, speech bubble pop up. The proper name, sprite object name in there, but whatever. We'll fix that one. Pop up object. Destroy itself. Never allow more than one instance of speech bubble pop up in the room at once. Let's see if it does anything good. Okay, it uses O speech bubble. What do we name it in Game Maker? Let's do that. Let's just change the name. Speech. Bubble. Okay, so we're handling it from the player object. Uh, that's probably best, actually. So we'll put that. Create event of the player. Set bubble exists to false when the player is created. That's good, because we never want it to show up if the player is not even there anyway. Get the reference to the nearest O teenager object. Instant nearest. Instance nearest. X, Y. A teenager if, uh, if a teenager exists in the distance to if target okay if target is not equal to no one then there is one there and variable distance so it's getting the distance between the two if it is there if it's within now it's checking to see if it's within 250 if speech bubble does not exist wow okay that's pretty that's pretty slick right there dang i wouldn't have come up with that on my own Step, and then yeah. All right, now we can delete everything in the speech bubble. Okay, and then I changed. Um, okay, so on and all I need in here is the animation and stuff. So it'll do a little animated sprite of it moving up, and then at the end of the animation, it will switch to. A static version of that so it'll when the player enters the field it'll move up and then it'll immediately like right after the animation's over it'll just stay in one place just kind of to make it look cooler okay so uh let's just see if it works what else so that one teenager had some stuff in it okay yeah delete all this crap Check if it says. Yeah, this is all pop-up stuff. So let's just delete everything in the other objects. It's all handled from the player object now. Okay, error. Let's just get this worked out. Reference to the nearest O teenager object. Distance variable target. Oh, I see what I did. I spelled speech with an A. Let's see if it works now. perfect oh. 
Oh, hell yeah. It worked. Okay. We're making progress on this game. Okay, now I need to make it appear higher up. So it's at negative 50 right now. Uh, let's 120. And then I think I need to change the X too. That looks great. Okay, so in the next video, I will work on what happens after you push the up arrow key.